Hey guys, <coughs> I'm feeling a little under the weather again, so I'm going to come at you with a live top 10 anime Lucio jumps of 2014 on the new Eichenwald map. Let's get going. Okay, so this map is, is very tall. It's a tall map. It's Michael Jordan. So... You, you you have a massive advantage on this map, as the Brazilian boots moose do. So the first jump is is this little spot here, just next to the choke point. Um, what you got to do is you got to go around here, slippy slide on that, slippy slide on that, and you're behind the enemies and away from your team because you're a completely useless piece of shit. This one's great. See that platform up there? So what you gotta do is just go back away from it. Fuck! <laughs> you gotta get up to this platform, right? So what you gotta do is you gotta speed boost backwards. Son of a- So what you gotta do is you just gotta build up speed backwards and- Oh, fuck. Ah, pranked you. There's a platform here the whole time. That jump's really helpful if, um, you wanna look like a fucking idiot. Going back to the attacker spawn here. Uh, now, this building here is is very helpful, it's got a health back in it, so here's how to get in. A lot of professional players don't know this. Right there. Now, lots of people say use the door, but you're a Lucio, and you're cooler than that. Now, honestly, people get stuck at this choke point a lot. So, what you've got to do is, you got to jump up here. Just do that. Then, now, before the enemy team catches you, speed boost over here and jump off the cliff because this map's fucking impossible. Here's another little glitch I, <coughs> that was recently I covered by the people I read it recently. Um, if you just glide on this a little bit, then your game will glitch out and you'll turn into Hanzo, which is actually needed for <coughs> the next um, trick, which is now we've activated Horde mode. Uh, this is a mode added in beta by the developers. Um, so essentially, you just get a lot of fucking Torbjorns following you around, and you gotta fight them off. If you die, uh, it deletes your battle net account. <coughs> so you better not fucking die, because, I mean, I've never, I've never died in this before, I'm pretty professional at it. Uh, while we're here, I might show you the, the fucking Torbjorns. So I got a new battle net account, um, and so I can show you these cool jumps on this map. Just, shit. Wow, I actually fucking hit that. Fuck! Hope you guys know that Overwatch is fucking expensive as shit. Um. Okay, so you get into a little bit problem here once they start giving you a spawn, but. Um, I played a lot of Metal Gear Solid, um. So I know how to stealth, so. This is, um, now the secret part of the video top 10. What the fuck? Top 10 stealth maneuvers on Hanamura during, um. Fucking. What did I call this part again? During. At this point, Overwatch has turned into the survival horror game. A lot of people talk about how Overwatch was meant to be a different game. Um, like, a, like an RPG, like World of Warcraft, except fucking good. But like, what people actually don't know is that it was actually meant to be shit. That it was actually meant to be a survival horror game. Um, uh, in the root of uh, Stranger Things. So... This is the reimagining of that uh, in, in Overwatch. Uh, a lot of the Blizzard developers have many code names for it. Some people call it bullshit. Some call it Vorbjorn mode because uh, they've got to fucking gobble you up. So here's the first stealth movie. You've got to jump over here, climb up the wall. Actually surprised that worked. <laughs> Fuck! He see me. All right. So here's the next stealth movie. You've got to climb up this wall. Oh god, they're all there. Fucking raptors. Oh shit. Alright, this is my last, this is my last $80. Oh shit, he's activated his ultimate. <sighs> How's he to like this, pal? Oh god. Oh god, they're all here. Oh! Tell my mother I love her. Oh shit, okay. They're not chasing me. They don't know how to look over benches. Okay, so. I'll take that wall. The goal of the game is to get to their spawn and activate their nuclear missile launch codes. Thing is, though, I've killed some of them, so they should be coming out of their spawn now. There are multiple strategies for this min-maxing. There's a uh, bubble strat. Oh god, they're behind me. They're right behind me. Alright, just keep going. Use use the walls to your advantage. Whew, okay. Alright, we're almost there. Okay. It's a fantastic spot. People don't even know this exists in the real game. Alright, nuclear launch codes are right inside that metal lock. All we have to do is defeat the boss. 
Oh, fuck, he's right there. Okay. We keep going. Oh, God, they're right, they're right down there. Okay. Oh, God. Right behind me. We're activating nuclear load codes. Alright, so because we completed that, I have uh, gained a loot box. Uh, so, this is a very special loot box. It contains just the finest of uh, loot. So, let's open it up. Son of a...